If you've been scratching your head this year and wondering if you're leaving money on the table by not leveraging the power of AI and ChatGPT5, the answer most likely is absolutely yes. But don't worry, because in today's video, I'm going to hand off the blueprint to you so that you can not only leverage the updated ChatGPT5 features, paired with the power of an AI employee tool inside a software called Go High Level, my new CRM and a platform that has allowed me to gross almost $70,000 to date. By the end of the video, you'll know the AI employee and the exact prompts that you will need to put this whole system together. So if that sounds exciting and you want to learn more, go ahead, type in AI in the comments and let's get rolling. Now in recent previous videos, I've talked about Go High Level and I'm going to talk about it so much more into this next year and in the future because it is such a dream software in CRM. You can literally house everything from it for your business or any other business that you want to manage. For example, if you want to run a local client's business or if you have personal subject matter expert businesses, coaches, consultants, real estate agents, you can run this segment of their businesses from go high level. It features email marketing, dialer capabilities, funnels. You can host your courses there, host your communities there, every single thing that you can dream of. And now having AI employee agents within that tool, it's just a chef's kiss for making money online, not only for your business, but also helping you help other businesses make more money for themselves. Now go high level has literally hundreds of features, but the one thing I want to focus on today with high level is the AI agents, specifically the voice AI agent and the conversation AI agent. So I'm going to explain what those are and the difference between them. But in today's video, we're going to break down and we're going to build our own conversation AI agent. I'm going to give you some prompts to plug into the conversation AI agent from ChatGPT5 so that you can have it and start testing and training the bot so that it could be implemented into your whole system. Okay. So the biggest difference between the voice AI agent and the conversation AI agent is that the voice agent can literally do just that. It has a voice. It could have conversations with the leads in your CRM or in your, you know, platform, right? The names, emails, and phone numbers that you're collecting onto your list. It can literally answer calls, right? So it can receive inbound calls and now it can actually do outbound calls as well call people back etc etc and so with training this voice ai you can have it do things like handle objections get it as prepped as possible so that somebody is prepped to have a strategy call with you or book an appointment or if you're a local business right you can have this voice ai uh, set appointments for you so that people can come in and get and book the service. So you can have it really handle all the questions. Unlike a human employee or staff member on the team, it does not sleep. It does not rest. It does not get emotional with awkward conversations. So that is a huge advantage of voice AI in a future video. I will go over voice AI, but let's go ahead and turn our attention to conversation AI because at a higher level, I want to zoom out and say that you can have different conversation AIs jumping in and responding to your leads, those who opt in in a form where they leave their name, email, and phone number, those who DM via Instagram or Facebook or WhatsApp, depending on your country, if you're leveraging WhatsApp a lot. So think this can talk and conversate back and conversate. Conver I don't think that's a word. Conversate. Okay. Forget it. <laughs> It can chat back and forth with your leads in the system based on their different answers. It can funnel them to different courses that you have to book an appointment and it could direct them to other funnels that you have in your high level system. It can do so many things. And the best part is that you can set up more than one conversation AI with different objectives. So in this specific example, I want to give context of why I'm setting up this conversation AI specifically. I'm setting it up to number one, when we get a person that buys into our low ticket offer, meaning a $27 mini offer that we have, they'll, the, the bot will then have their name, email, phone number, and it could then start a text SMS conversation with them. And the goal would be for them to get interest to book a strategy call with me so that I could either sell our higher ticket offer or sell them into our editing services offer. So that's one way that I want to leverage this conversation AI. The other one is for those people who are directly interested in working with me, they have want to run a local client's business. They opt in, watch a video sales letter, but specifically if they opt in and don't book a call there, that is when this conversation AI can take over and it can say, Hey, I saw that you opted in, but didn't book. Could I answer any questions from you? I am Marissa's executive assistant, etc., etc. 
and then have a convo back and forth, then encourage them with the link to book a call with me. All right, so let's look on screen and see how to set this all up. Okay, so here I am in my sub account. Now what I wanna do again, or what I did was I came here to AI agents, and then what we wanna do is go to conversation AI, create your first conversation AI agent. Now this is, there's a lot going on here. I, we don't wanna start from scratch or marketplace templates. We could do general Q and A or appointment booking. For now, I'm just gonna do general Q and A so that we can get the gist of it. So we can name this um, Nathan AI uh, agent, something like that. Okay, and then set bot status. What we can do for now is leave it on off because if we have it on autopilot, sometimes bots can be super aggressive. And before we train the bot, we want to make sure that everything it's doing is giving correct answers. So we're just gonna leave this on off right now. Supported communication. Uh, really, I just, I think that SMS is the best. I think I like having personally direct DMs in Instagram. It's just more authentic and I've had more conversions that way with sending people to book a call or other courses. So I'm just gonna leave it as SMS. Okay, so advanced setting, business name, uh, default is the location name. So I'm just gonna put you know, my brand name here, subscribers to sales. All right, and then wait two seconds. I, I've heard two seconds is, it makes sense. It like gives them a little bit of time to think, but it's fast enough. I think it's a little fast. I'm just gonna put three seconds, but you could make it like five minutes depending on the wait time you want somebody, or you, you know, you want the, the bot to respond back to people to have it be more human-like. So, uh, and then here you could, you could have a maximum amount of messages. So this means like if someone's hacking your funnel or some random person is like, you know, just messing with your AI funnel just for fun and it makes no sense, you could limit that and put like maximum of 10. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, you can click this on set bot to sleep when I'm send a message manually or through workflow. Okay, so then click save here. And then what you wanna do is go to bot training. Now, what this means is you're gonna to have to first create a knowledge base. A knowledge base is everything about your offer or the thing you want it to do. So I already created a knowledge base. It's really easy, you just come here to create a knowledge base and then name it. And I already, let's just look at this one. This one is about my Ascend offer. So essentially, uh, where is it? My offer is a higher ticket offer to help and do done for you services with people for YouTube. So I copied and pasted this URL to the web crawler. You can had, add any links to the web crawler that you want. So I added that here so it can study and understand what my offer is. You can also add things like anything with a link. So a link to a PDF, a link to Google Slides, anything to train. In addition, you can put specific FAQs, right? So like, what is Ascend? This, this, and this. So you can, uh, you know, as much as you can feed it and train the knowledge base, the better. Okay, so going back to the conversation AI, uh, where was it? Agent list, Nathan AI agent, we were here. So we can go to bot training. We want it to come here to existing knowledge base, this one, oops, the Ascend offer. So then once you get done putting in the FAQs and stuff like that, then you're wanna, gonna come here to send message like, you know, hello, and start to see how it reacts to the messages you give it. All right, so then we can come back to this once we're done. It says, hey, what can I help you with today? This this message could be, at a, a, what's the word, adjusted as well. And you can say something like, just wanted to learn, just wanted to learn more about YouTube help. So then it's going to respond. And um, while we're waiting for it to respond, oh, oops. If you're looking for YouTube help. So yeah, this is pretty cool. So it's it gives a snapshot of what it is we do. And then when we go to uh, bot goals here, so this part right here is where ChatGPT5 is gonna come in, in handy because what you wanna do is like copy and paste all of this and then, let me see, all, no, not all of that. What you wanna do is copy and paste all of this one by one, and then 
uh, you know, how it say personality and then put it into a, I'm using chat GPT five and I'm having it and I have the paid plan because it's so much better and you can use agents. All right. So you're going to have this be like personality and just copy and paste all of this. I don't want to do all of all of it right now because it'll be like super boring. But basically what you want to do is customize each thing. So when you talk to chat GPT, you're going to say something like this. Hey chat, I am working right now in go high level and I'm setting up a conversation AI assistant for me. I want you to go through these prompts and customize it for my Ascend offer. You already know everything there is to know about the YouTube Ascend offer. Please tweak and customize each prompt. The goal here is to get somebody to uh, book a strategy call with me so that we can have a sales conversation. Um, and if they don't want to, the next thing I want you to do is send them to either a free resource. You can send them to my systems course or my other community or fast track products. So please be sure to include this when you are adjusting these prompts and customizing them. And then what you could even do is like put, bring this down like this, bring this up and then bring this down and you can screenshot the whole thing and just put the screenshot in, in chat GPT. Okay. Because it can read images. There's no limit to the amount of input you can get it. Meaning PDFs, images, transcripts, all that it can like with chat GPT five, this is why you need it with chat GPT five. This is why it's so important to have the paid $20 a month plan is because it can handle so much more data and processes process so many more billions of bits of information per second. So now that's going to work and spit out an answer. Then what you're going to do is take the answers chat GPT five gives you, put it into here, what it has you tweak and then save that information. And then when you go to your dashboard, you'll be able to see the, the things that it does. So what I'm not showing in this video are things like connecting this specific bot to a workflow automation and a trigger. I can get into that in a following video for a full setup. And if that interests you type full in the comments, so I know that you want me to make a full tutorial on go high level and the AI employee agents. I hope today's video was incredible. If you liked it, go ahead and check out this next video all about go high level and the top five ways to monetize and make more money with it this year and beyond. It starts right here. So click right there.